Altamont, St. Anthony's assistant principal, or excuse me, Altamont's assistant principal, athletic director, Peggy Beaker. Well, big win for you guys, NTC champs, but. What's the biggest key for that big at bat that you got the game winning run to go ahead in the eighth inning? Uh, the big thing was I just I knew I had to focus and flush everything really. I mean, just clear your head and knew that was three two. Anything really, team at bat. What's it like to be the champions of the NTC to beat St. Anthony? It's it's crazy. I mean, the feeling right now is ecstatic. I mean, we had a great crowd, great bench. I mean, it's just it's great atmosphere. Put the uh, put the pressure on the on the opposing team. We just didn't do that. I felt we were, uh, you know, Altamont brought a lot of intensity, and we weren't able to do that. We weren't able to match that for some reason. I don't I don't know what happened. What about Teasley uh, Teasley's pitching compared to Earhart's in that first inning? Kind of made it hard for you guys. Was it arm angle? Or? No, I, I think a lot of it. I think I mean they're, they're almost like two of the same. I thought Earhart threw the ball well, but we just we came out with that mindset in the first inning. We we're going to take that first punch. We got away from that. And, uh, you know, we as a team, we got to make those adjustments. And, uh, you know, part of that's on me. Maybe I need to make sure that we're doing some different things uh, in the cage to prepare that. But, uh, you know, I thought the first inning we were able to uh, put some nice swings together. And uh, from there, we just kind of went away. Like you took an awful lot of pitches tonight, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, and that's not us. Did I you mean, just have you off balance? or? I, th I think so. I think, you know, kudos to uh, Teasley. He was able to get ahead. And, uh, he's, he's using his uh, off-speed uh, and, and fastball counts, and and that's how we prepared for Earhart because we knew how, how he was going to approach us, and uh, you know, and like I said, we just kind of got away from our game plan. And great job to Teasley, Coach Witt does a great job, um, you know. So I, I think that's what it was. We just kind of got away from our approach a little bit. Ronicker threw a gem himself. Yeah, you know, he had thirteen. I think he had thirteen yeah, strikeouts yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. um, you know, Gavin's been our guy all year, and uh, you know, he got. He, I think he had one earned run. I think they had a couple of pass ball ball pitches mm -hmm. uh, early on. I think it was the third inning where uh, they got a couple of pitches mixed up. Um, so we had to go out there and kind of. Uh, he wasn't able to see the signs, and so um, you know, and that moves the runner two bases and. Sack fly moving, so yeah. it's easy to score with runner on third. All Alan, time. what does this mean to you guys to be NCC champions, to beat St. Anthony, to come to this field, to win a big game like this? Oh, it means uh, it means everything. I mean, St. Anthony is such a great competition, and, and to come in here and win a game like this, it, it's just a springboard into the spring, hopefully. What's it mean to have to Noah Teasley come up big like that? Oh, big. I, I was doing another interview and didn't realize that he, had, he didn't allow a hit through seven innings. Uh, senior leadership right there, and he's earned it. He's worked hard for it for the last three years and, and has really earned it. What do you guys take this game going into the spring season as far as a, a big momentum booster? Oh, momentum, big time. Uh, you go in there, and, and now the kids are motivated to, to get in the weight room, to get better, to get stronger, to get quicker. Um, and they know how hard to work. They work, through, they work hard this fall, and they know that next spring is going to be just the same. 